I hear lots of discussion in the country about, well, we need them to be real maternal. Well, that's a given. Our cows uh, have to graze 11 months of the year for themselves, and if we didn't have to take the time to get them pregnant, they would never come inside. Uh, now we capture them at the AI bar and make them pregnant and kick them back out. Uh, we run those cows as much like a commercial rancher would as anybody I know. They're, they're on their own. And uh, it's a given whether we're in Van Horn, Texas, or Wadley, Georgia, you know, I have to try to create cattle that will hit those environments and be able to multiply cattle of economic merit in both locations. So, yes, I would recommend possibly a different bull to go to Van Horn, Texas, than I would Wadley, Georgia. But in many cases, they're the same cattle. They're cattle that are born alive, that are born unassisted, that have a lot of early growth, um, that are moderate frame cattle. Our, our ideal animal would be a 5.5 frame. Uh, coincidentally, I believe the average bull in this sale is a 5.7 frame, so you know, we'll never hit perfection, but we'll keep trying. Um, but we've got to create cattle with everything in mind. And as I've said before, many of our commercial producers actually sell their females as replacements, and those replacements many times bring more money than their steers do. So I think it's a given, yes, we use the dollar beef index, but we use the dollar weaning index. I mean, frankly, I'm an EPD uh, nerd. I've been heard called before, and uh, it's my job to know all of the components. But if, if we're going to select cattle, and you know, the average commercial guy that comes to me, and when I say this, I say this with all due respect, the average commercial guy is frankly more sophisticated than the average seed stock guy. And because he knows what he wants, he knows what he needs, he wants me to help him understand which components are the most important to him. So with our selection philosophy and belief that we want as many pounds in the right package as possible, and to achieve that, we put an extreme amount of pressure against birth weight and against stature. And within those parameters, we select for as much early growth as we can get, provided it comes with superior end product merit and acceptable maternal levels, the average customer that comes to me wants cabinies. He wants growth in the right package, i.e. early growth. And he wants a maternal function that will fit his environment. And he wants uh, you know, cattle that'll, that'll hit the grid and give him you know, 100 plus on the grid. And so uh, what we do a lot is we look at the calving knees. If he's breeding virgin heifers, I mean, the average bull in this sale is an eight for calving knees, but there's 200 bulls that are plus nine or greater for, for calving knees direct, which is in the top 15% of the Angus breed. If we're going to get more specific and we have no labor available, we probably recommend to be 10 or greater for calving knees direct, which... Uh, off the top of my head, in the top 7 or 8% of the Angus breed for Cavanese direct. Uh, when we get to that level, we can pretty much assure that we're going to have very little assistance in calving those heifers.